Level up. Oh no, not level up. It's just a new guy we can hire. Eh, he's okay, but I don't think we need another hero. More weapons. Okay, so now we're finishing a ton of our non-baryonic shells. So we're going back to dust, and that means we went from negative 1600 to po positive 30, 350. That's a big change in just one turn without changing the tax rate. Uh, you guys are going for pop. Do some more pop, will you? And more pop. And okay, that's fine. Non baryonic shell for sure. 23 turns. I'm not sure the game's going to last that long, but whatever. Octens. Yeah, I guess that's fine. More pop and then some happiness. Okay. Anybody else? Anything? Anything? No. Okay. Nine turns. We might actually be able to get there in time. I doubt it. That'd be hilarious, though, if we could. So we're doing that, and then we're going to do another tier of weapons. I don't think we even need another tier of weapons, though. Uh, let's do that, and then let's do that, and then let's go for... Uh, I guess we could start putting some invasion modules on our ship. Like this. It's an invasion module. Maybe. 40. 80. 500. Mm. There's nothing we really need at this point. We, we're, we're done. We're done, man. Oh yeah, let's go for this. Fit more shit on our ship. It's only a few turns. That'll do. Looks like we took one. I think it was Graphius. Can't move the map while we're in. There we go. Oh, there's a fleet. Let's kill them. It's gonna repair and auto. They may run. We'll see. Okay, they died. Graphius has fallen. Hey, finally! We finally have Graphius, everybody! Yay! Not very on a shell. Dust. Science, please. Science, please. Science, please. And science, please. Thank you. You're the best. After all this time, we finally have graphics. Can we get there in eight turns? I don't think so. This one can probably get... No, it's still going to have to wait. Yeah, let's try. Let's try. That's one. So it's going to be two. We're going to get here in three. Four. Five. Six. Oh, yeah, we can. That'll be less than eight turns. Sweet, we can save it. Oh, we took Fidus as well. Non Baryonic, and then Happiness. For Soil. Just do Global Tech Parks everywhere. Oh, we can do a Core Tap installation. Cool. I wonder if we can do any of those anywhere else. Where else do we have a glowing yellow circle? There we go. Can we do this? No, we're missing the requirements. Okay. Glowing circle. Da, da, da. Oh, that one's probably already been done. I don't know, maybe. Uh, or maybe it's down here. Or maybe we don't have the... Maybe it's because we're blockaded. I don't know. Where else do we have a glowing yellow circle? Bing, 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 bing. There's one. Hey, click it. Nope, don't have the tech. Okay. Wasat has one, but we don't own it. Hmm. I guess that's it. All right, there, there aren't really that many special places like that. Where to go with you, my biggest, baddest fleet? Go to Surma, I guess. Okay, plus 20% food on Empire. Very good. More guns. After guns, we're going over here. That's fine. And uh, that, 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 and that. 
Okay, going back to dust. Very good. Bendis, you're not doing anything? Why are you not doing anything, Bendis? Uh, more, more food, I guess. And then just non-baryonic, and then that. It's fine. Everybody else is doing their thing. Very good. Two turns to invade. One turn to invade. Yeah, the pilgrims, you, you guys are toast. Toast. It looks like they're trying to stop me at Wasset, but that's not going to happen. They couldn't take out this guy when he was like level 6. Now he's level 10. Whoa. Personal shielding. So we unlocked a whole bunch of artifacts. Yep. Artifacts. 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 Plus 20% production on Empire. Really? Holy shit, that's nice. And trade route bonus, which doesn't matter at all, since I don't have any trade routes anymore. Oh yeah, I said I was going to go over and delete all my trade buildings, but I'm not going to because I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm really way too lazy to do that. Okay, tech park. Let's do more tech parks. And then this, and then this. What is that? More star system defense. Well, I guess we could do that up here. Not like we're doing anything else. Five turns. Wow, 5,000 bucks for that. Uh, that should be fine. I didn't see anything bad in there. Let's go invade Arcturus. And start the invasion over here. Four turns. Very good. Bow before me, what's that? Some new achievement. Level 11. Plus 5 hit points regeneration inside friendly area on fleet. I don't think we need that. We're not really taking any damage at all. Uh, let's go for more veteran stuff. Okie dokie, does that mean we took Wasat? Yes it does. We also can engage them here. should be pretty simple. And they're dead. They tried to retreat. Lol. Oh, the shields weren't up for some reason. Okay, can we do this? No, we can't. You guys still need to grow? Yes, you do. You have room to grow. So we will let you grow. And we'll do that. And that. I think that's all we're going to need. We can switch away from farming as soon as you finished your growth. And see, these, these systems are depleted, these planets. That means the cravers that were here for so long that they now produce 25% less everything than before. Oh, now we're at plus 2,900 fids, or dust. Wow, we took their capital. Very good, very good. Let us bring you to Idris. No, let's go to Brachia. It's right there. And start the invasion. What's your capital look like? Global tech park. I want more global tech parks. Loving my global tech parks. And then non-baryonic and dust. That's all we need. Okay, able to put more shit on our ships. Very nice. More adamantian. We've got uh, abundance of it. Very good. Anything we need to look at? Everybody move. Start the invasion. And... Yes, we're going to be up there with plenty of time left. Very good. Very good. Oh, random event. Collapsing asteroid. Gain 500 dust, gain experience, or gain experience. <sighs> Go for experience, whatever. 
Uh, Zeterbia. Don't really need anything here. Don't need the farming either. So let's do non baryonic and dust. And let's get you out of farming. Go for science. Try to use these arrows more frequently. There you go. And then non baryonic and dust. There we go. Okay. Everybody else is doing good. Doing well, I should say. Three turns, two turns. Kill them. Just repair. Nothing they can do to you. You're fucking weak, pilgrims. You're weak. There you go. Level up. Uh, double level up. <laughs> uh, more attack. More attack. And there's another fleet still here. Wow. They're sending everyone to Wasset. They're trying to take it back, but they're not going to be able to. And this fleet is... Let's see. One, two, three. Three turns we're going to arrive, so we're going to arrive two turns before they take it. Very nice. Random event, we got some experience. Level up on our weakest dude. Sure. Science, we discovered Quadrinix. And we're about to go for the last uh, tonnage upgrade for ships. Very cool. Quadrinix, we've got a bunch of it. Good. Nakar, you're not doing anything? Really? Come on, bro, get with the program. Or should I say the program? Oh, we don't need farms anymore. So, that. And that. And then that. And that. Yeah, these arrows need to be larger. I would use them more often if they were larger. That's what she said. Okay, you don't need farms anymore. Do that. And that. And then that. And that. Anybody else need anything? Looks like everyone's busy doing good stuff. I oh, would attack you. Ah, uh, just repair. They got nothing. And they're... Oh, they escaped. Ooh. Where did they run? Come on, show me. Where are you running? Maybe they can't run. I don't know. They're not... In oh, it's just a scout. I was going to say they're not invading for some reason. Okay, next turn we're going to take Surma. Cool. And we're still on the move. Plus 20% healing on the Empire. Okay. And we took Surma. What do you have? This is a tiny planet, and it's hosting seven population. That's amazing that a tiny planet can do that. Okay, that should be... That's all we need you to do. You can come here. It's actually faster to fly across this gap. Wow. Next turn. No, not next turn. All right. Okay, let's attack you. Just going to go for a weapon overclock and then some repairs. Auto. Should be easy. Unless they run away like the last fleet did. They ran. Damn it. Oh, well, at least we killed one of them in the meantime. Let's go see if we can't catch these guys. Probably not, but we'll try. Uh... Tinkerers, fine. Anything you need addressing? No. And next turn we can stop the invasion of Fatia. Perfect. There we go. Caught him. 
And we're going to overclock and overclock again. Just kill them. You fuckers, you tried to invade my system. Take that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> they tried to run away and we wiped them out. <laughs> Lovely. More veteran. Thank you for saving Fatia. You have done the Empire a great service today. Let's go to Idris. And you guys did not catch the enemy, and I did not see where they went. They went this way. Okay. I'm just going to chase them around. Uh, you're not doing anything. Interesting. Okay. Uh, global tech, global tech, global tech. Let's just get some food, and then... Uh, that. Oh, I know why they're not doing anything, because they're fucking blockaded. But it's okay. I ain't even mad. Oh, did we take anything? Nope. Let's start the invasion in Spica. We're going to finish two invasions down here. Very good. Oh, Brassia didn't fall. It said it was going to, and then it didn't. Damn you, Brassia. Well, let's take this fleet and go save Antares. And what do we have here in Arcturus? Uh, ooh, a large arid garden of Eden. Wow, that is amazing. Anyway, let's uh, put everything over to science. Science. Does the left arrow work? Oh, I can use my fucking keys for this? Oh, this suddenly became a whole lot nicer. I can use the left and right keys. Oh, you can even swap between systems? <gasps> oh my god, the keypad is awesome. I feel dumb now that I didn't, like, go through any tutorials or read anything on how to play this game. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, it would have really helped a little bit. Let's do that, and some of that. Actually, no, we don't have any trade possible because there's no other factions to trade with. Don't need any happiness, so we'll just go for non-baryonic and that. Okay. Uh, you didn't finish. We didn't listen. Attack them. Oh, it's just a scout. Just kill them. Lol. Done. And there's like nothing to do now. Man, his ships are fast. He's moving up to there. It's a scout, that's why he's fast. He's probably got like engines on it. You can put engines on ships to make them go super fast. It's like err or fast. All right, Brasia has fallen. Let's go attack them here. Oh, they're attacking us. Lol. Um, just kill them. <laughs> they're actually they're seriously attacking us. And they all died, even though they tried to retreat. Okay, level up. Oh, fleet speed. Sure. What else am I going to use them for? More weapons. Oh, I don't really need you to do anything now. Uh, I already have someone going to Idris. I will send you over there anyway. Brasia. What's up, Brasia? Nothing, other than being absolutely pissed that your ownership has changed. Let's go ahead and put you on Global Tech. You're already on Global Tech. There you go. Anything? Anybody need anything? Gemini. Ooh. Why is the pop here so low? We're only getting four food a turn. Really? Am I really that dumb that I never noticed that we never grew any pop in Gemini? Or is this... This must have been where the disease hit, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, that's understandable. Wow, 28,000 dust. Wow. We're making so much money. And we're on only on 5% tax. 
100% tax would be 19,000 dust a turn. <laughs> We're even making money on no tax. Wait a minute, Fittis. Look at Fittis here. It says they're happy, but if I put the tax to zero, they become unhappy. Well, less happy. 63% happiness versus 72% happiness. That's weird. See, these other ones, they nudge up happiness when we put the tax down, but these guys like to be taxed. Look at that, they're, they're taxed even more and they're happier. Okay, now they're less. Okay, that's so weird. I'm going to put it on zero tax, just because just I can. <laughs> you have so much money. I'll go start the invasion of Aina. I don't really care what anyone does. Gonna catch these fools? Nope. They're too quick. More weapons, not like it matters. Everyone keep building everything. End the turn. More weapons! Spica has fallen. Uh, whatever. Just, I don't really care. It should be about four or five turns and the game will be over. Stupid pilgrims. They want a ceasefire. <laughs> uh, uh, we're not even we're not even teching anything. Wow. Okay. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Alright, start the invasion. Yeah, four turns. Okay. Took cancer. Um, I don't really care. Ma'az. Whatever. Well, now that we have new weapons, let's update our ships. Not that we need to. Auto upgrade. We're going to go from 3690 and 1947 to... 4,500 and 5,000 strength. Yes, I will apply. I don't even care what they changed. I will apply that change. I don't care what they changed. They're making my ships awesome. And retrofit. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. This is the only one we can do because they're in Cancer. Now, where are they going? They're going to Rhea. We'll just chase them around a little bit. Wow, look at the strength of this. 42,854 just on this one fleet. <laughs> There's only five ships in this fleet, and its strength is 42,000. Wow. It's more than twice of our other fleets. And this is our weakest leader. Wow, that was a nice uh, upgrade to our ships. <laughs> oh, I, you know, fell. Let's see if they will give us Idris for peace. Nope, they were not allowed to because it's their only system. <laughs> of course. Of course. I don't care what you do, just do that. All the fleets. Let's let me upgrade you first. Da -da -da. Aina, retrofit. There you go. And you guys 
Where did they go? They're running. They're running this way. All right. Let's see if we can't cut them off with one of these fleets. We'll take you. And let's retrofit them. Because they're coming towards producer. So let's see if we can't block the system. All right. More blue cap. Oh my god, the fleet strength is 55,000 here. <laughs> wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. You guys can just chill in Mile or whatever it's called. Where's our other fleet? There it is. 56,000 strength, holy shit. Alright, no, they didn't get there in time, so the game's gonna end before we fight that fleet. So we're never gonna see our new our new newly refitted ships in action, but that's okay. Let's retro let's upgrade all of our ships. There you go. There you go. Alright, so the best strength. 56,000, 55,000, 45, 42, and 40. Wow. I think we're number one in military strength now. Uh, Lady Who? Appearances can be deceiving. Blah, 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 blah. Five large pirate fleets. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Game ends next turn. None of this matters. Go. Idris is ours. Achievement unlocked. There can be only one. So I guess that's for conquering everybody. And that's it. Alright. And we're not even researching anything because who cares. Oh, we, upped, we upped our fleet max to 22 ships. Nice. All right, so that was the Hiss Show, and this was on normal difficulty, and we had an amazing start. I mean, I cannot believe how just ridiculously good our start was, and it was a smart idea on my part to take Takim first. I didn't know that it was going to be a, a really important bottleneck, but it turned out to be the most important bottleneck that I've ever seen in one of these 4X games, because we blocked off Naus, which is an amazingly good system, and probably one of the best systems on this map right here, Shen lives. Uh, these two systems, Delphinus and Producer, I'm surprised they didn't do... I'm surprised the Cravers didn't do more with them, because they are amazing at production. 1,029 and 875, and this is with all of them focused on science. All these plants are focused on science, but they're still doing amazing production. So the Cravers owned them for a long time, and they really didn't get anything done with them. That's, that's kind of disappointing, but... I don't know. I guess the Pilgrims did an effective job of harassing the Cravers, because they went to war with the Cravers pretty early. And that probably stunted the Cravers' growth. And if the Cravers can't grow quickly, then they just kind of die out. So yeah, that was the end. Let's see if we can resign. Is there any way to just resign? Do we get to see the end of the game stats? Yes, we do. Okay. Bids, big surprise. People, yeah, I, I think I'm the only one left. There we go, science. We actually did okay on science, but that's only because we had more systems than anyone else. Military strength, yeah. Command strength, yeah. Empire conquered the home worlds of all... Oh, that's a supremacy victory. You conquer the home world. So if we get all the crown systems, that's a way of to getting victory. That's kind of cool. Alright, so thanks for joining us, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Uh, next time, I'm probably going to step up the difficulty a little bit, but I don't know if normal is too easy, or if it's just because we had an amazingly good starting position. I, I've only played four times now, and that's the best starting position I've had. I didn't really like that map setup. It was kind of cool, where it was a ring system, a ring galaxy, but... I think it led to too much isolation, and I think isolation makes some of these Forex games a little too easy. So next time we'll go for a different map type and maybe we'll step up the difficulty. Alright, thanks for watching, 
Guys, thanks for joining me here on Shen Plays. Hope you enjoyed this Let's Play of End the Space as the His Show. I'm Shen from Shen Plays, signing off. You guys have a great day.